Welcome to Camaraderie, a uh, channel on YouTube. This video is sponsored by Jeff Goldblum's Fashion Sense. In today's video, I'll be taking a look at a, a film stock that I think kind of flies under the radar when compared to the HP5s and the Tri-Xs of the world. Um, if you've been around this channel for a little while, maybe you've seen some of my videos, maybe you're even subscribed, um, you might be thinking, Luke, we know that you get hot and bothered for Kent Mirror 400. You talk about it in like every other video. And while that it is, it is true that I do enjoy me some Kent Mirror 400, uh, that's not what I'm talking about today, as you might be able to tell from the title of the video. It's, you, you, you probably saw it before you even, uh, it's, you know, it's the title and you see it. Yeah, you might be able to put two and two together. Um, today we're talking about APX 400, which is a professional grade black and white panchromatic film from Agfa Photo. So sort of, sort of by Agfa Photo. I'll, I'll get into that here in a second. Now the parent company of Agfa Photo, Agfa Gewert, has a uh, bit of a convoluted history full of mergers and acquisitions and bankruptcies and various dabblings in an assortment of imaging industries. Headquartered in Belgium, the company got its start in the 1960s after the merger of two companies that had been around since the late 1800s. The Belgian photographic paper company Gewert and the German color dye and staining production company uh, called, I'm going to call it AGFA. That's, that's why, that's how they got their name. Aktiengesellschaft für Anilinfabrikation. Much like a lot of other European companies operating in the 20th century, uh, the 1930s and 40s were a bit of a tumultuous time for both AGFA and Gewert because, um, Nazis. When the Allied forces came into town, they were a little suspicious of German chemical engineers for some reason. Nazis. So they broke up IG Farber, which was the holding company of Agfa and Ansco. Like I said earlier, the history gets a little convoluted and there's a bunch of ups and downs and name changes and everything. So I think it deserves its own dedicated video. That's not why we're here today, but let me know in the comments if uh, it's something you'd like to see. Right, back to the topic at hand, the APX 400 panchromatic black and white negative film stock. Remember earlier when I was like, eh, Agfa Photo kinda produces APX 400, but kinda not? Through some corporate shenanigans, maneuvering, whatever you wanna call it, Agfa Gewert does produce some uh, consumer level film stocks, um, but they just sell it through Lamography and Rolly. Anything Agfa Photo branded is manufactured by Fujifilm and Ilford. It's sort of, again. Fuji produced the color film stocks and Ilford produced the black and white film stocks. But in 2018, the manufacturing contract with um, Fuji ran out and they didn't renew it. So there are no more fresh color film stocks being produced under the Agfa Photo name. At least not for now. We'll see if they come back at some point in the future. Well, enough about that. Let's find out how it shoots. So I loaded up my Nikon F2 with the APX 400 and headed to Durham. All right, so last time that I was in Durham, went to the American Tobacco District, American Tobacco Campus, and uh, so let's, uh, let's go downtown because there's a lot more to their own than tobacco. This does look like a contrasty film right off the rip, but you have to keep in mind I was shooting at like one o'clock in the afternoon and it actually captures a ton of information in the highlights and I was a little worried that they would be blown out at first, but after I brought the 
pictures into Lightroom and started messing around with everything, I saw that there was actually a lot of information kept in the highlights. I would say it's it's got more of like a milky contrast to it. I mean, I guess church and state are separated by a, a, a street. Ha <laughs> ha. The Eleanor on Rigsby. That's, that's just so clever. As I noticed, I was getting to the end of the first roll that I had. I thought it would be cool to try and live out my dream of being a skate photographer. It's something I would love to give another go, a proper go at. It might help if I could actually ride a skateboard though. And for the other roll of APX 400 that I had, I figured I'd keep it a little bit closer to home and go to downtown Raleigh. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a, oh, there it is, a little squirrel. Wow. I'm gonna name him Ezio. Oh, oh, look at him go. And while I was out shooting, I uh, actually made plans to meet up with my brother Clint from LGR. He was in town testing out a little funky gadget from the early aughts called the Cybico. grabbed some coffee to start off our day and wandered around downtown a little bit to test out the the wireless transmission capabilities of the Cybico and uh, yeah it uh, kind of left a lot to be desired um, highly recommend checking out his video to kind of get the full story of the Cybico <laughs> Did that work? a little tripod no I haven't gotten anything since uh balls prop it up I got it okay so it doesn't work if it's up against a surface huh like it has to be like handheld okay I got that you. okay did you get balls not after I sent poo poo pee pee So glad that I got this last shot of the roll um, with this sign on the door just because it's it's just so strange this is downtown I, I don't know why this I get that it's private property but it's just funny that they detail no hunting fishing or trapping or trespassing uh, it's I I just thought it was a funny sign and that's the Agfa photo APX 400 black and white film. An incredibly capable conglomeration of silver halides and gelatin emulsion. As I mentioned, it has a ton of information retained in the highlights and in the shadows. Um, so it's definitely something that I, I think that's why it uh, if you've seen one of my other videos, I mentioned at the very end of it that it responded really well to pushing. I think I, I pushed it two stops in uh, one of my other videos and I was just kind of blown away by its low light performance. All in all, this is one of my favorite films that I've shot with. I'm considering getting a 100 foot roll of it, um, 
just because I just really like the way it looks. It's weird. I when I first started back on this channel, I was like, you know, all about contrast and everything. And um, the more along I get, the more I prefer flatter images. I think it's just because it gives me more leeway in the post processing step. Huge shout out to Clint. Um, yes, we we are brothers. We get that question all the time. No, we're not twins. He is my older brother. Um, I know we look alike and I know we sound alike and we probably have some of the same mannerisms because we are brothers. But yeah, no, huge shout out to him. Um, thanks for inviting me along for that ridiculous Psypico experiment. Um, had a lot of fun with that. That's, that's that. That's that for this video. Let me know in the comments if you've shot with APX 400, what your opinions on it are. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, all that kind of youtube -y stuff. I'll be on this side of the lens in the next video, and until then, bye! Honestly, I probably didn't even need to <laughs> roll that screen down. Well, I still liked it though. It's better than beige. It's rather have white than off-white. I don't know. Click the videos. Thank you.